Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel where data science is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the series where we are trying to learn Python by solving interview questions from top tech companies like Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix and Google. If you are preparing for any of these roles, this is a great series to follow and build your concepts. So yeah, let's jump right in. In this video, we are going to solve this question on status scratch regarding count the number of students lectured by each teacher. This question has been asked in Google, Kaplan and General Assembly interviews and it's a great question if you're preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst or ML engineer roles. Okay, the question reads, count the number of students lectured by each teacher, output the result along with the name of the teacher. So we are given a data frame called SAT scores and expected output says Panda series but if we look at the expected output, it basically has two different columns. So this must be a typing error. So we have the teacher and this is basically the number of students they lecture. Let's inquire about this data frame called SAT score. So it has a number of columns. If we'll preview this, so you have school, teacher, student ID, etc. A lot of columns. What columns we are concerned about? The teacher and student ID because we need to group by the teacher and then count the number of students they are lecturing. Okay. So what we can do is we can go ahead and do group by the column called teacher and then we need the number of students they are lecturing. So one way is to take the student ID column and perform a count. However, did you notice one thing here? So here you have name of the column as zero, right? So you're not giving any particular column. If you take, right, so let me just show you. Let me just do this. So let's take the student ID column, right? So let's take the student ID column and perform a count. And since we are grouping by the teacher, let me go ahead and reset the index so that teacher is as a column. The reason I am showing you this is here you can see the name of the column is student ID, right? This is one way you might be thinking if you are following this series that another way that might be done is we can do dot aggregate and let's say whatever column name we want. So number and then we can do that. Okay, take the student ID column and perform a count and let me go ahead and reset it again. So here if you do reset index then uh, if I go ahead and run this, so you can see that the name of the column is number, right? You might be thinking, okay, why, what if instead of number, we write this as zero. So that is going to give you an error, right? So if I do this, right, if I, if you are, you know, curious, so this is going to give you an error. It says equal to equal to, you might be thinking, okay, this is an integer. We are trying to equate with something. Let's try to, you know, pass this as a string. Still, it will give you a zero. Right. So the reason why I'm doing this is just to show you that here the name of the column is zero. You know, actually what is happening is you must be able to recognize this, that actually the solution they are trying to look for is use the size method. So basically what they're doing is you group by the teacher, right? So if you group by the teacher and then if we look at this data frame, we are basically saying that count the number of student ID or in another words, group by the teacher and count the number of rows they have because that is the number of students they are lecturing, right? So we do dot size and then let's do dot reset index. We are doing reset index because we grouped by the teacher. We want that as a column in our output. Now let me go ahead and run this. So now you see, right? So you have the exact same stuff. So Brown 17, Davis 13 and all that, but the name of the column is zero, right? So this is how we do it. So there is no issue in the way that we did. You can use dot aggregate or you can take the student ID column and count. There is no problem. And if you are wondering whether this is a series or a data frame, let me just do this and show you that this is exactly a pandas data frame not a series so here you can see right pandas core data frame the this stuff this part is panda series this is a typing error uh, and now if i go ahead and run this again so now you have the output exactly as the expected output let me go ahead and submit this past all the test cases so everything is green and this is how it so not a difficult question what we basically did was we grouped by the teacher and then use the dot size method you can also do take the student id column perform a count or you use the dot aggregate give the student id and perform a count whichever way you like because they in the output you are going to get a data frame so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video